The UN's educational agency has said that half of the world's school and university students affected by class closures because of the COVID-19 outbreak from pre-primary to university level do not have access to a computer for homeschooling. According to a UNESCO statement, 43% of young people have no access to internet at home. This means roughly 826 million students have no home computer and some 706 million has no internet at a time when distance learning is the only option available for most with schools closures in 191 countries of the world. Joining us now is Aramide Aki Timihe who runs Talent Mine Academy, a free school for children in the rural area. Thank you very much for joining us. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, please share with us the reality of the pupils you teach. Do they have computers or access to the internet? Does the figure so, being peddled by the UNESCO has any reality in your area? Yes, so I think the figure is actually correct because I teach the kids in a low-income economy, in a low-income community, and there's no internet access or they don't have, and they don't have access to computers. And the reality is that most of them, their parents do not have a smartphone. So out of the 26 kids that attend Talent Man Academy, it's just one of them that her grandma has a smartphone. And that's the only child we've been able to follow up on. But the other ones are, they are, they are, they are, their learning system has been interrupted because they don't have access to smartphones, they don't have access to computer, and then they don't have any access to internet. As the lockdown continues, students are expected to study online. How will this affect your pupils? So, because, like I said initially, they don't have access to smartphones. So there's no way that they can study online because the, no one, no, none of their parents have smartphones. They only have a, a hand phone that we can use to make calls. So the only thing we're doing right now is checking up on them to make sure that they're fine. But the only one that has a smartphone, the one I said that our grandma has a smartphone right now, who have been able to run lessons for her twice a week at least so that she can catch up on her academics. But then for the other ones, they are not smartphones, so their learning is being interrupted. How, how, how long should this uh, continue when we know that they were supposed to have started exams before all of this um, occurred? What do you think government um, is doing to ensure that they don't lag too far behind as a result of this uh, pandemic? Okay. So I think that the government is actually making a bit of progress in their own terms. I know that for the Ogun State government, they started um, teaching kids through the YouTube uh, videos, and then they started using radio as well to reach out to those children. But the only the only way kids are going to be restricted is when you know their televisions are not working because of electricity, and some of them might not even have access to radio. So. But I think the government is actually doing a great job in trying to make sure that these kids learn. I think the government is actually doing a great job. Thank you very much, Aramide, for your time.